Hi, everyone. Welcome to the digital experience team. I don't know what iteration number this is, but our demo, uh, it's February 10th. So whatever iteration that is for, for this year, uh, I'll go ahead and share my screen first uh, for what I've been working on in the last two weeks. Oh, probably could have shared that better. Uh, anyway, so I kind of I have shadows still to do. Uh, that's meant for kind of the Friday, Friday thing. So I'm going to work on that uh, tomorrow. And then uh, what I've been working on is currently this is in review. Um, so what we did is we replaced all the styling in the buyer experience repo with slippers. Uh, and that's going out on Monday. Uh, we're going to wait for all these other um, MRs to get merged in uh, before we do this. And then I'm currently working on the pricing carousel. So I'm trying to get blockers done before we start on the pricing page. And one of them is we use like a, a carousel. I don't know if you've noticed it on the mobile version of the pricing page to kind of swipe or sw swipe between tiers. Uh, so I'm trying to find like a view alternative for that or somehow implement jQuery. I really don't want to put jQuery in the new site, but I'll figure something out. Um, and then I just worked on a bunch of small stuff. There's redirects that were broken, um, some p-styling that was affected the navigation. Uh, I imported slippers into the bar experience repo. So it's just there. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't affect anything, uh, but at least the imports there now. Uh, uh, slippers v1 is published. I changed the branch name for the slippers repository and did a bunch of branching changes. Um, yeah, I think that's it for what I worked on the last two weeks and a bunch of just kind of planning for the next quarter. I don't know who wants to go next. I'll, I'll go next. I, I My head's beside yours the way I see it. So I'll just go next, share my screen. Are you seeing my board? Um, yeah. Okay. So um, I had a shorter um, sprint cycle than usual due to some um, PTO. So aside from a bunch of MR reviews, which I know everyone does, but I like to mention it because they're so darn time consuming and they don't show up on my boards. Um, but anyways, my only real contribution was an update on the um, homepage security uh, and compliance banner. So this is the issue that's closed. Um, I'm gonna just scroll down to the update here. Um, so here's the updated visual. Um, there's an engineering issue that I op just opened, you know, maybe an hour ago with all the links. So the changes include adding the um, ISO certification banner, the CSA Trust Cloud Provider banner, and updating some copy because now we have SOC3 certification and we're removing the uh, bit site banner. Um, so that's ready for hopefully next iteration and it's in triage and that's it for me. I'll hop in, go next. So for this iteration, so I do all this stuff over here. Um, so I, I looked into redirecting gitlab.com to the pricing page. Turns out that the pricing namespace is owned by a private group. We reached out to them to see if they would give it up to us and they said no. So that's not happening. We'll look at maybe some other things later. Um, we wrapped up and this is the team, not me, but um, all of the, the child topics digital transformation pages and migrated the remaining solution pages. So good work team. Um, I am still working on this visible script, hard coding into the project. Realized yesterday that I need two sister MRs, one for Omnibus and one for charts, and then they all have to ship in the same release. So the next release is February 22nd. So that will be my big push. Um, this add to cart event in GTM data layer, it is, um, I'm ready to pass it off for a review, um, but I have a rebase I need to do and then it'll be ready. This topics template layout changes. Um, there was some stuff that Hanif noticed, um, like our H2 tags were off. Um, there were no can canonical paths and their FAQ schema was missing. So I pushed two MRs. Um, one is, this one was to edit all the H tags. So now our pages have H1 and H2 and H3. And then we added the canonical paths um, 
in one of them, but that's not showing here. And then I have this draft MR to add the FAQ schema back, but hopefully I'll get that done. Um, that is it for me. Pass it off to Megan. We're not. <laughs> Sorry, you can go next, I guess. Um, mine's just gonna be so dang good. <laughs> um, let's see. All right. Um, in this uh, iteration, worked on a lot of the topics page migrations. Um, the big one I wanted to point out was the DevOps page. Uh, what I thought was just adding the content in the new repo it turned into so much more thanks to Jess. Um, I think these pages look so much better. We tweaked a lot of components and made things a lot more like mobile friendly and um, just more uh, slippers related. Um, so really proud of that one. Um, in the demo page, um, we replaced the form with a video and then I finished a startups solutions page. Um, I should be finishing the DevOps platform page very soon. I think it just needs to get reviewed. Um, and then no go on the support page. Just there's some dependencies on other MRs. Who knows if we'll get to this before we kind of go into the um, architecture refresh work. But um, yeah, that's all I had. All right, Jess. <laughs> Okay, now we go. Okay, so a lot of what I did this week was just working on updating slippers, continuing to audit, um, fix things, add things. One thing I'll show you in a second is improving the button UX. Um, and I also made a branch in Figma and started playing around with the new brand design guidelines. So I'll show you that as well. Just wanna also point out that um, Still working on this information architecture refresh content gathering, just trying to figure out what pages already exist, what pages do we need net new, what can we combine, what can we get rid of? So that's an ongoing task. And then I also just kind of made a final summary of what we did in the free trial, but nothing new that we worked on this week. And let me pull up Figma. So one thing I talked about was the, the button UX, and I'll just zoom in so you can see. Um, but kind of going for this more physical button type click we're going for. And then also, there's branch. So we have this whole new brand design guideline, new colors, new typography. Um, so just kind of pull that in to see, you know, how that would work with us. Um, some of it's still a work in progress, but trying to figure out what the colors would look like, um, you know, how shadows would work. Typography, using inter instead of uh, source sans, that kind of stuff. So Work in progress on this as well. Um, just kind of playing around with what it could look like. And that's it for me. You wanna go? I can go next. Um, share the screen, desktop two. Cool. Uh, so the view that's most useful for me here is these merge requests that have merged because a few of them didn't have issues this time around, uh, which maybe I'll do better next week. Uh, so starting here up, um, this was a funny one. Uh, the uh, our um, like pricing page has a bunch of like <laughs> it's easy to get turned around. <laughs> I just had to switch like self-hosted and SaaS in like multiple places. That's all. Um, so this fixes some of our Google Tag Manager uh, events for like handling add to cart events. Um, so that was kind of funny uh, and went out. Um, and then more of the same where basically like just stuff that either I had diverged from the spec on Google Tag Manager, uh, I had to like format some stuff as strings uh, or places where the spec had been slightly off where like the currency code was outside of the object that we needed it to be in. Um, and then another fun one that shipped last night, um, I was very excited about. It's a super small change, but it's very meaningful. So um when we track the checkout event uh i i was like just digging through some of the view x code and i was like oh cool selected group users like that makes a lot of sense um because uh here it is for the update number of users turns out this will return one if so if you buy a SaaS subscription but you don't pin it to like a group if you just buy but if you buy two seats not assigned to a group this number will be one 
Um, so our Google Tag Manager data was incorrect because it was getting a bunch of like false ones, even for multiple quantities of the product. Um, and so I was able to find uh, the actual quantity value, uh, which we're now passing into the checkout and the transaction event. So I think all of the data from like last night at 10 p.m. onwards will be correct. Um, and we've like looked through some historical data and I think like that bug is like consistent with the behavior that we're seeing. So, um, and then there was another issue about drift, which we can't do, or like, I mean, we can, we just don't have the permissions. Um, the little flashing notifications we have, it, it's a setting in drift. There's no programmatic way to change it. So drift, I passed it off to our drift admin and I was like, I'm not going to make the call. Like, you know, you let us know if you want to turn that off or not. Here's how. Um, and yeah, that was it. So uh, whoever else is next. I can go. Um, let me share. Oh, I have no share. Uh, uh, behavior, so I, I will talk. Uh, so in this iteration, I work on the migration of one of the child pages for stages the life cycle that is monitored. Um, also, I work on the migration of uh, public sector that is uh, under solutions. And also I work under uh, the solutions education uh, childs that one is campus and the other one is edu survey. And right now I'm working on the join one. And I did a couple of regression fixes and that's it. I can go on it next. <laughs> I'll try to share my screen. Yeah, um, well, I spent most of my iteration working on this anchor link functionality. Uh, now, when we have a markdown that is rendered by a component and uh, uh, you set a heading automatically, it will create a link uh, on the right side. And when I finished that, I worked on the um, uh, on one of the uh, topics child page. Uh, page. Uh, I have it over here to show this one. And uh, we worked, uh, uh, I worked with the changes that uh, Megan made, especially in this component. So it was uh, very, very fast. And uh, yeah, that's it. Next is uh, Daniel. Yeah, uh, I work on adding uh, new uh, components to the stage, the both life cycle landing page. I uh, also work on a uh, couple of uh, child pages configured and released, and also uh, have been working on uh, UX iteration. Uh, there are a lot of uh, minor issues to fix there, like uh, uh, hero spacing, um, uh, CDA text. Let me share my screen to, to show you something. Um, Yeah, this is this is a landing page for uh stage the boat fly cycle. Uh and I don't know why it isn't confetti loading, but it is it's it here, maybe internet connection. And uh the menu uh also is working. And um, below we have uh those cards, and um I think that's it. Um, so I'm gonna go next. Okay, next is my job. <laughs> uh, okay, so it was a slow iteration for me because of some unexpected health issues that have luckily been resolved now. Uh, uh, let me share my screen to show you. Okay, uh, so first off was the sales page, uh, it was completed. I had some feedback to resolve now has a couple of components uh, to change quotes and this one to show the the FAQ and then I was working on the auto mode page to change it to the new 
UX design. And this is it. It still is under review. I am working on a couple of fixes now and it should be done pretty soon. And that's it for me. There you go. Uh, so this iteration, I worked on getting something done for Dennis. It was essentially a Google uh, Tag Manager thing that wasn't brought over to the uh, buyer experience repository. So I just got that done for him. Uh, was essentially making sure that we're tracking the tabs of which uh, navigation item you're going through. Um, I added a lint to the buyer experience, uh, which is exciting. Uh, it's essentially a lint job and ES lint configuration um, where it's running through, making sure that all of our JavaScript is compliant to some extent. I do want to try to get another iteration where we're using the GitLab ES lint. Uh, module on top of that, uh, although that one is more strict and from trying to run it locally, we have like 500 errors on our buy experience. So that's probably going to take a lot long, longer to merge in, but that's something that we're working on. Uh, and right now that's something uh, that's in review is doing a lot of the follow-up for the MVC navigation for, and just making sure that it's going through review and through that pipeline. Uh, that's it for me. Awesome, I think that's everyone. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry, it might have been not a clunky, but it was our first time kind of sharing our screen. So next week or next iteration will be it'll be smoother. But anyways, we'll see you in the retro. Yeah, retro. <laughs>